What is up everybody, Morisoft back here with another video and today we're going to be reviewing the Emission Spec AC2 plate carrier. So I was looking for a new slick plate carrier, a more high quality one than my matrix plate carrier. If you want to see that video, link in the description below. And I found this Coyote Brown AC2 plate carrier on evict.com on sale for $100. It usually retails uh, for $190, which is a... Uh, they're not on Evic anymore, you have to buy them from their uh, manufacturer website. Link will be in the description as always. And I was doing my research about the company, and they were a good sm small, they're, I wouldn't, like a mom and pop shop, a, a gear company based in Kansas City. They're obviously not, not as big as like um, Cry Precision, Mayflower, those bigger companies. And um, yeah, uh, $190, it's a good price point. If you have a full-time job and disposable income, but if you're like me and you're a broke kid, um, I make ten dollars a week. That's a lot to save up for for just a piece of nylon uh, plate carrier. But uh, it's it's well worth it. It's made of good materials. So let's get into the plate carrier. The plate carrier itself is made out of 100D Kodora nylon fabric, and it is water and abrasion resistant. This camera up. It is water and abrasion res resistant. Really good material. Durable and I believe it's one of the best nylon uh, brands or types out there. The stitching on this carrier is very good. It is reinforced where it needs to be, obviously, like the, the shoulders and the molly. Also on the rear, stitching is very well throughout the plate here. Alright, getting on, uh, started with the top of the uh, front. Uh, Getting on started on the front of the front plate bag, pretty hard to say. Uh, you got the Mission Spec logo, which it, it's subdued, so it doesn't scream, oh, Gucci gear. So, yeah, but Mission uh, it has that, so you make sure it's a Mission Spec product. And we got our Velcro, our loop side Velcro for all your morale patches and ID patches. I got a Canadian flag and the Velcro is pretty good. It's, it's pretty well on there. We got our vertical PALS webbing for all your um, plasma buckles, which do not come included for chest rig and placket integration. I'll go over that in a few seconds. We got our, this is one of the unique uh, features of the AC or EC2. We got our tourniquet holders, which is on both sides for your lefties and righties. It can hold a soft tee and cat style tourniquet. Pretty good retention, and once you, once you get it broken in, because like with everything, uh, every single gear product, once you get it, it's pretty stiff. But once you get it broken in, you can you can pull it out with one hand with ease when it's on your body. I'm right, moving down. How easy to work it from this side with the buckles attached. We got our pen and chem light holder. It is just this little pocket, as you see. Got a sharpie and a pen in here. Camelots and pens, just a little pocket right here. All right, and now we got our loop side uh, three, three, uh, three strips of loop side Velcro for your placard, uh, placard and chest rate integration, as I was talking about with this vertical molly. I mean, if you want to put a bunch of patches here and not run a placard, you be you. It works that way too, but for me, I've got this TMC uh, micro flight chest rig replica. So to put on the chest rig or your placard of choice, which of course doesn't come with the plate carrier, you just, pretty hard to see, but you just put in your buckles, just got a little dangling pouch and a hook on this one, and then you just mate your hook side velcro on your placard with the loop side velcro on the carrier. Just like that, got your mags, your admin pouches, your medical supplies, all on there. And we got our uh, quasim buckles for the side straps, which I will be getting into later. Alright, let's go with the, uh, let's get on to the rear plate bag now. Rear plate, plate bag, as it is a slick minimalist plate carrier, um, it's slick, there's no, there's no uh, bunch of velcro or a bunch of pals. But there is a bit of velcro here for ID patches and morale patches. As I said, stitching is reinforced. 
We got their rear rear pack hangers, which um not nothing unique. They're just these little cordura loops for adjusting the ride height of your plate carrier, as they, they do have on the front. I mean, they might come out with a um, little flat. Not sure. They might come out with a uh, flat pack or a salt pack of sort. It uses G hooks that can attach on here. I don't know. That's an idea I got. All right. Getting into the inner of the two plate bags. And unbuckle this left side first so we can get a better look at it. The inner. Both sides are the same, the, uh, the inner of them. They're both aligned with the same material, so there's no difference. You've got our spacer mesh right here. Great for absorbing moisture, sweat, all that stuff. So your plate carrier doesn't get smelling over and uh, stick to your body and overheat that much. And in the middle, we have a Cordura fabric. I honestly don't know why they just put like, they just lined it all with spacer mesh, like their EOC, which is their first generation plate carrier. Because Cordura, it does the opposite of the spacer mesh. It actually repels moisture instead of absorbing it. So I don't really know why they did that. Maybe it makes it more durable and rigid, I don't know. And here, your plate pocket, you have your side straps, which hold in your plate. You probably can't see it since it's black velcro and the lighting's not that good. But there's just a big square of loop side velcro and the straps that hold in your plates, they are lined with hook side velcro. So you just take both these straps out, insert your plate, Slide them back in, and then you secure it. And there's two straps. Another thing to note about the uh, front uh, plate bag is the version of the plate carrier is only it only has the loop side velcro so you can only use uh you can't use pals webbing attachment you, you have to have the chest rigs or plaque rigs with the velcro only but if you guys want the version that does have the pals the pals has also like velcro on the pals so you can also use your chest rig if you want it's about like 40 dollars more expensive than this version but if you just want chest rig or plaque integration i would just go with the the ac2 because it's cheaper and it has less stuff that you don't need so if you want pals, just get the EC2. It's the same thing, but it has pals lined, uh, lined with velcro. All right. Let's get this plaque on here again. All right, for the shoulder straps, one complaint, the side straps and the shoulder straps are basically the only complaint I have with this plate here. If you have a smaller frame size body like me, you have to bunch up the side. You guys can't see that. To bunch up the side straps and you have to secure it very well or it goes undone when you sprint around. I have electrical tape, a rubber band, and I have this side strap cover for it. And sometimes it still wants to go out even with all this stuff on there. They did the same issue for the side straps. Just getting, the couch. getting in the way of it. The so side straps, it has Molly. If I clip it in, it's gonna be more rigid. It has a uh, molly, a uh, pals webbing, so you can put your molly attachments, mag pouch, uh, IFAX, whatever you want on here. It uses the molly system. I have, I don't have much, I just have this little carabiner on there with this D-ring that attaches the molly. I can't really put much on it because I'm really small, small. So yeah, but if you're also, if you're a small guy like me, again, you have to Tighten it up a lot, almost to the maximum. Loosen that, and then you just you have to bunch it up, wrap it up, just like the shoulder straps, and then it secures in with because there's Velcro on the end, uh, uh, there's loop side Velcro on this end and hook side Velcro on this end. It just mates together. Let's try that again. It mates together, but the retention. It's good, but it can come undone like like that when you're running around. So if you have a smaller frame size body 
and you have, you have to bunch everything up, it it doesn't retain that well if you're sprinting, if you like to sprint around and stuff. And they don't have a small size plate here. They only have their medium, large, and extra large, I believe. So I would like to see them make a small plate here in the future if they can. So to wrap it up, all the oh, it, it also comes with this little index card to show you uh, to cover basically everything I covered in this video. So basically, it's a competitor to all of the um, Jolly Slick plate cures like the Slickster, the LV12, and I believe Mayflower has one too, the LE plate cure. And it's pretty good quality, 1000D Denira Kodora. And the only complaints I have smaller frame size body, you have to bunch everything up and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stick well. The shoulder straps and side straps come undone after a amount of time. Oh, one thing, side straps, they're elastic, so if you have a size for your body and you put on a outer garment like a hoodie, a sweatshirt, or you put on two, layer, two layers because it's cold, it'll expand to the size of your garment so you don't have to resize everything if you put on a jacket or hoodie. Alright, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. The body length will be in the description below. And also, this is the plate here I wore in my little short film I made, uh, Operation Ulu. If you'd like to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Also down in the description below. Alright, thank you guys for watching my uh, review. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.